are back. We just got the annual bonus bonus envelope from Gumshoe. I'm sorry, but I need to take him in for questioning now. I think I, I think I've asked him just about everything I needed to. No wait. Since he became a suspect, there's one piece of evidence I would I should reconfirm. Officer, officer, I ask you that you wait for a second. I still have one thing I need to reconfirm with Detective Gumshoe. Understood. But please make it brief, sir. I want to. I want to hear it from the horse's mouth, so to speak. I must confirm whether or not his testimony was about when crime occurred and is truth. A bonus for five dollars? Even for a new rookie detective, that's a bit low. Yeah, even, even though I got it promoted, I guess I caught up the attention of the higher-ups. At such amounts, I'd have, I'd have preferred to not, not to receive one at all. You don't get it, pal. You, you don't get how great it feels to get your voice bonus. I suppose not. I have yet to receive my own bonus as a prosecutor. Hmm. Well, I received mine from Papa last December, like I do every year. That's not a bonus, Francisca, that's... Never mind. Let, let me just zoom in the camera real quick. That's not a bonus, that's a holiday gift. You want to call it Miles? The pen? I'd like to ask you a little about this. I'm not. I'm not saying the pee pal, cause I'm not the killer, okay? You must understand. I wasn't going to ask you about that. Hey, all I've ever wanted to to do was become a detective, pal. So I never wanted to be a killer. Seems that he doesn't want to talk about anything on his, his predicament. Yes, the same thing with the crime scene photo. And the plastic bag. And the knife. And the gun, I think. Yeah. And this? Yeah, and the KGA incident. I think I've showed I think I've showed him my badge already. You told me earlier that you heard not a sound, no sound other than the gunshots out in the hallway. Is that correct? No mistake about it, pal. Hmm. Then you are also claiming that no one passed through the hallway either. That's also correct. Well, not even a single ant passed through that hall while I was on duty, pal. Hmm. Huh. <sighs> Then you do realize that, that the lie you're telling is only making life more difficult for yourself. Huh? Oh. That's true. I didn't see anyone go through that hallway, and I didn't hear anything else, pal. I bet the killer found, found a way to kill the other two guys that's beyond what I can even imagine. So he intends to continue telling this ridiculous lie. 
So why would he do so, given the situation that he's in? I believe a thorough investigation of the hallway in front of the defendant lobby is in order. And with that... No. Hey, no fair day! <laughs> really? Why did you kick him, huh? At least that's what some uh, people do when they're younger. How come you have not noticed that coming? Wasn't that the child I changed money for earlier? So cruel, like you, Francisca. She looks like she dropped something. Swiss roll, they jumped down to my organizer. Maybe you be sure to rest the girl? She might turn out to be a valuable lead. I believe some sort of punishments may be made to, to, to be dealt the next time we meet. I believe all, I've asked all that I need to of this man. Now for Detective Bad and the Judge. We have to confirm who, who, is, who is correct. Is it Judge or is that Scruffy Face right? I suppose we, we should inspect the hallway in front of lobby number two then. Hmm, I suppose so. Shall we head over, Francisca? Yes, we shall. Let's get going. And with that, I think I'm gonna call the part here. See you in the next part where we talk to Detective Bad and the Judge. And remember, this has been another Objection Solved. Bye, Zs!